Boo! Hello everyone, July 15th, New Year's resolutions. Going well, um, what can we say on July 15th? Uh, we, stock market, we are dollar cost averaging every single day. I think I talked about that in a previous video, but that seems to work because I don't have to sit there and watch it every second and white knuckle it and worry. I simply invest in an amount of shares in the way that I think the market's gonna go which right now I think it's, you know, destined to go short because this bubble is about as big as it can get. So you go short, 100 shares or whatever, and then tomorrow, if it does happen to go long, 50 shares or whatever, I'm basically doing one share per cent. So then if it goes long, 50 shares, you short another 50 shares. It goes long, another 50 shares, you short another 50 shares. You keep doing that, dollar cost averaging, until it goes your way, and eventually you make a profit. Anyways... Finances are going good. Um, Prison Pizza, we're looking at selling here soon, which is sad. That's our baby, but it's our foster baby. Time to give it to its real parents, whoever that might be. Um, so that acquisition will be nice. You know, we'll get rid of a lot of debt and we'll have a lot of money to invest and move on with our actual goal in life. You need one goal in life and our goal is my goal. I got to stop saying our because I got to have my own goals. If other people want to do it, great. But my goal is to um, get out there and do comedy, and film, and entertainment in some capacity and theater the rest of my life. That's really where my passion lies. That's what I was born to do. That's what I've done my whole life. And I still love it. So it's got to be my passion because I don't get tired of it. But you can't, I just don't think you can split hairs in life. Maybe when you're younger, you know, I'm, I'm 36. Uh, we've run these businesses for Prison Pizza for four years, the theater for 10 years officially. And I'm just tired of splitting hairs and it's really getting um, too much. You know, it's stressful. It's getting tired. You don't, you can't leave town without stressing about your business and, you know, the place burning down or people showing up to work and stuff. And I'm just tired of being a babysitter of employees and a babysitter of the place in general. So... That is on the docket. Hopefully that happens sooner or later. I've asked the universe and and our, our God up there. I've prayed about it, and I know it's going to happen. How, when, where, I don't know those details. I don't need to know them, but that's going to definitely happen. And then we're going to move forward and do some, do some big things in the entertainment world. Um, I will say I do love business. I do love being an entrepreneur. I do love prison pizza. But again, I just don't think you can split your focus in life. I think you need to go, this is what I want to do, and then just do that. So, that's where we're at there. Exciting stuff happening. Oh, and uh, so on our annual camping trip, um, again, if some of this stuff is repetitive, I apologize. I'm just telling you where I'm at right now. On our annual camping trip, I talked to a good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Reap. And, you know, he works out a lot. He keeps his weight down and, you know, he's lo looking good, strong guy. And I said, well, what do you do? You know, is this keto diet the best? What, what do you do? He said, you know, honestly, you just need to keep track of your calories. You just need to make a calorie goal and, and stick to it. So finally, I decided to do that uh, four days ago. I'm down six pounds this morning. And uh, it was a little bit hard last night because on... Uh, the night before, I didn't get home till I stayed at the bar with Marissa until 2. She works there. So we shut it down. Then I came home and I ate, you know, some ice cream and had a drink or something. And so that took like 500 calories out of it. And that counted towards the next day. So I was like, oh, shit. Well, this is going to be hard. So yesterday was a little bit difficult, but not as difficult as you'd think. It's kind of fun, you know, to go, okay, I got 43 calories left. What can I eat? You know, some snow some green snow snap peas or, you know, a piece of broccoli or whatever. And, you know, we, we kept under calories the last four days. So down about six pounds, that feels really good. And I'm motivated to keep going. I have a lot of energy. Um, it's preventing me from, I really can't drink that much because drinking apparently has a lot of calories in it. So if I do drink, I'm drinking low calorie stuff and uh, I'm not drinking as much as I would like or as much as I used to. So... All of that is fine and dandy, and um, we're off to a good start in the second half of the year. Hopefully, you know, things continue. We set some goals, some life goals, and that's all I want to focus on. 
no more bullshit, no more stuff in between. Just, just that's all I want to focus on is, is my life goal and achieving that stuff and having time to go travel the world and go on vacation and spend time with my family. That's really important. If you're so busy that you literally are stressed out and don't have enough energy to spend quality time with your family, then you need to reevaluate your life. I need to reevaluate my life because that stuff is overly important. And yeah, at the end of my life, that's going to be extra important. Um, you know, when you're an old guy or when you're on your deathbed, you don't want to say, you know, man, I'm glad that I put in that extra fucking 80 hours a week in my business or work site or whatever. So that's long enough. Thank you very much for joining in today. We'll keep you updated in the future. And yeah, second half of this 2021 resolutions is going great and hopefully it keeps going great. And uh, I get tired of making these videos sometimes, but you know what? We're already over halfway there, so let's just uh, let's just blast through that finish line and we'll have these 2021 resolution videos for the rest of our lives. All right, have a good day, everyone.